Yep, got one coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. He got it. Giant. Another giant. Every single one of them in here is a giant. Look at that fish. <laughs> Good one. There we go. <laughs> of course they're gonna bite when I don't have the camera on the Garmin. That's a nice 12 incher. Heck yeah. I'm gonna get the camera up. Now let's talk about fishing this brush pile right here. This is one of the easiest patterns you can do on a new lake. I'm literally fishing a DNR buoy, guys. A DNR buoy, it's got some toads on it. So we're gonna go ahead, get this camera set back up. So y'all can see what's going on. All right, we got it on video. Hate how there's a dang reflection of me on this thing. I'll show y'all right here. This is what I'm fishing. Every one of those is some good fish. You'll see a little bit. You see mostly me though. I hate that. I'm gonna get a nine inch screen or something better soon, guys. And I'm gonna teach every single one of y'all how to do all this better than i can in this video all right so we're gonna pitch it out we're coming in we're coming in hot about 20 feet we're gonna wind up just a little bit so we're keeping our jig and that toe got it right there <laughs> that's a nice one play him a little bit Yes, sir. Pound and a half. Nice quality fit. You knock my drink over, you sucker. <laughs> oh. That's a good fish right there, guys. Right there, on the top of the lip. Nice quality fish. Probably. I don't know, 13 incher. So the deal with that is they're all stacked up, as y'all can see on that little, I wouldn't say a little brush pile. This is a DNR buoy that we're fishing right here. And every single one of those fish are probably about this big. I'm itching to get back in there. But he came off that crappy man green little minnow 132 ounce split shot 10 pound mono on 10 pound braid got it tied with a, a uni knot on a 13 foot favorite big dipper and just a little cheap uh lose reel from walmart but we're gonna get back in here and get another one <laughs> So here's the deal right now. We just spent the first hour fishing and we only caught one. Now the wind is starting to pick up. We've located some bigger fish. Now, don't get me wrong. There's some big fish at that bridge that I wanna go catch, but we've located the school of bigger crappy, which I'll show y'all one more time. They're right here. Let me get this in the view. Every one of those crappy are 10 inches or better. And I know that's hard to explain, but I guess I'll just show you. <laughs> I mean, not saying I'm gonna get another bite, but we took the GoPro off of the fish. Cause I mean, it's really hard for y'all to see it anyway with the reflection. I 
But right now we're just hanging out. Man, that is a massive fish right there. Come on. If you come up and bite, it'll make my day. Oh, he's thinking about it too. God almighty, he got it. He got it, guys. He got it. Oh, oh man. Another toad. Oh my God. That's a tank, dude. Oh, get in here. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, that's a two pounder. Easily a two pounder. I didn't think he was gonna commit. Holy crap. Right there in the roof of the mouth like you want. That crappy man green little minnow. Oh man. I don't even know if he's gonna fit in my bucket. That's a 15 and a half inch fish. Just freaking dinner plate, guys. Dinner plate. Another quality fish. Quality. That's a toad. I said two pounds, but he's probably at least a pound 70. Like he's got a two pound build. I mean, look at that mouth. I can fit almost, I can fit three fingers in his mouth. I mean, I'm a big guy. That's a hammer right there, guys. God. Oh man. And what he did, I had the jig probably this far away from the brush pile. And he slowly tracked up under it. Like he came up under it and when he turned up i was like oh man i didn't know if he was gonna bite or not but he came up there and just smoked that crappy man jig oh let's get back in there and get another one seems to be like as soon as that wind started picking up they just in a, a mode right now should be right there in them though Yep, got one coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. He got it. Giant. Another giant. Another giant. Oh my god. This is insane, guys. It is post spawn. Oh my god. That's a toad. You know what I you know? Oh, he about threw it. You know what I say? Just flip them on in here. God almighty, dude. Look at that fish. Holy crap. Oh my God. <laughs> I think that one's bigger than the other one. If I can get my hand and my finger in his mouth. Shout out, Marty. That is a toad, man. Right in the roof of the mouth. Crappy man green, little minnow. I think I might have to get my pliers out for him. I don't drop any. So this is a five gallon bucket for reference. Look at this. Straight across it. Oh man. Same deal. He came out of the brush, came up about five feet and just smoked it. So that may be what they're keyed on today. Like some days you have to drop it in their face in order to get them to bite. But it seems like today, the I wouldn't say the further away you can get, the better, but that's what it's looking like. So, oh my God. So that, that's what, four giant. Well, that one tore up my jig. I'm out of jigs on my sprue. I'm over here saying like I'm out of jigs, like I don't own the company. <laughs> Guys, y'all don't understand, like I got, I don't keep myself stocked. I be going through my tackle box fishing old jigs all the time. Oh, yeah, let's talk about the setup just one more time. So this is what we're working with. We've got a 132 ounce crappy man jigs with a crappy man green little minnow. 
I've got it tied with a loop knot. This is 10 pound trialene mono up to a split shot about, I don't know, a good 10, 10 inches away from the jig. We've got this on 10 pound Strike King braid, braided line, a little cheap loose reel from Walmart, a 13 foot big dipper. And I mean, I just flipped two in that was close to two pounds and this rod didn't give it all. So, oh, let's get up here, locate them again, take our time. We're gonna fish into the wind. That's key guys. When you're out here scoping, you've got to be fishing into the wind because you do not want the boat to be pushed over these fish and lose a fish of a lifetime because you scared him off or he heard you coming. Oh my God. Look, look right here, guys. Every one of those are just giants. <laughs> oh my God, we've got to pitch right here. Like I'm not even coming up there. We are pitching right here. I don't know where my jig is, but it seems like it don't really matter. They come up and find it. I think I'm too low. Damn it, man, that one was hot on it too. There we go. Oh, that took a while. Got him on the stinker. Had the downsize on him. That's a toad too. Just gotta play him out, guys. That's a giant, man. God. <laughs> I know I say that about every dang one of them, but God. Holy crap, man. Look at the size of that fish. Right. I mean, he's in the roof of the map. We could probably flip him. Yep. Ugh. We'll just grab the line right here, flip him on in here. Just another absolute stud, man. That's 14 incher all day. Some 20 fish bunch of toads before 11 30 in the morning to say they're biting is an understatement you put that crappy man green in their face you're gonna come home with 20 anyway guys i hope y'all enjoyed the video hopefully it's a good one <laughs> yeah make sure y'all like share it on Facebook because this one deserves views. <laughs>